page 37, how to read a micrometer graduated in thousandths of an inch. Closely related to scales. Okay, so there's a section on scales. I should go read that if I haven't already. Is the micrometer a tool? Okay, so it's a tool that's going to help me. Used to make precision measurements. Precision, I'm not sure if that means like how accurate or how close something is or how small of the increments that is. Make precision measurements of objects. Okay, so I use this tool to measure objects. Maybe that's like length or width. A micrometer consists of a highly accurate ground screw or spindle. Okay, right now I'm wondering what the heck does this have to do with taking a measurement? I don't need to know how it's made, though it might be nice. What I want to know is how to use it. It consists of a highly accurate ground screw or spindle that is rotated in a fixed nut. Okay, so maybe I rotate this tool to make it work. Thus, opening or closing the distance. All right, I do use it to make it work. Between two measuring faces on the end of the anvil. All right, so the object, it seems like it's going to go in, be, in between this tool. And I'm going to adjust the tool in order to take a measurement. It's kind of like a ruler. It, it seems like that encloses the object. On the ends of the anvil and spin, spindle, parenthesis, figure 224. Okay, I should go look at that picture either right now or when I'm done reading this. A piece of work is measured by placing it between the anvil and spindle faces. All right, this is a reiteration, but it th this one seems a little bit clearer. And rotating the, the spindle by means of the thimble. Thimble, I have no idea what that means, so I need to look that word up. Until the anvil and spindle both contact the work. Okay, so the anvil and the spindle, they need they need to be in contact with the work for me to be doing it right. So I need to look for two surfaces in contact with my object to make sure I'm doing it right. And while I'm at it, I'll probably make sure I know what the anvil and the spindle are so that I don't mess this up. The desired work dimension is then found from the micrometer reading indicated by the graduations on the sleeve so when i hear graduations i think of i i think of vertical lines or if i'm looking at a ruler there's lines on the ruler so i maybe it's the same thing so may so maybe this micrometer looks like a ruler in some ways indicated by the graduations on the sleeve i like a shirt sleeve and thimble as described in the following paragraphs okay the following paragraph so i should continue reading in the following paragraphs is probably where i'm going to find a good example and a good diagram on how i can work the micrometer and maybe i might just skip ahead until i find a di until i find a diagram or a clear example on how to use the micrometer